Hey guys, so we're gonna be reading chapter 20. Okay, let's get started. When I wake uh, when I wake up on the day of the presentation, I feel mostly happy about going to school. It might be the fact that I'm nine now or that the school year is almost over, but lately things have been good. I did well in the spelling bee, I can ride a bike, and Jessica isn't really bothering me anymore. It's not like Jessica hasn't tried. I've just become a professional at ignoring her. Having more friends helps too. I mean, I'm not alone in dealing with Jessica and she's less likely to say something. Lunch is almost more fun because Lauren, Isabel, and Anna eat with Jenny and me more regularly. I even sometimes talk to Lauren in class now, although we both still, both still like being quiet. I don't run away from Stanley anymore and I'm not afraid he thinks I'm weird because we're friends now. Best of all, I'm ready for my presentation. I'm going to dress up like Jacques Cousteau, like Stanley suggested, while, which goes perfectly with my submarine. I made it out of styrofoam poster board and I glued my fish drawings on the outside. Both Jenny and Stanley helped. Jenny cut out all the fishes perfectly while Stanley helped with making this, sure the submarine was realistic looking. Real submarines have portholes, said Stanley, and nuclear reactors. I think I'll skip the nuclear reactor, I replied. As promised, Nick helped me practice the presentation the night before. You don't want to memorize the whole presentation. It sounds lame. Also, you don't want to read from a handout that makes it so boring. So we practiced the first minute when I introduced myself as Jacques Cousteau. With Nick's help, I came up with the best introduction. It was so good that I presented it to mom. My name's Jacques Cousteau. Welcome to the wonderful world of fishes. Have you ever wondered what lives in the sea? Well, today I'm going to tell you. Mom applauded. Uh, over our morning cereal, Nick gives me a little pep talk. Remember, the first minute is the hardest. Then it's easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, I reply. That's right, Mr. Gusto. He shakes my hand. I wish Nick could go with me to school. Luckily, Mom is able to come for the presentation. She wanted to help me set up the submarine and also have the appointment before class with Mrs. Thompson about my speech progress. As we walk up to the building, I see a boy in an ape costume. I wave H-E-L-L-O, Stanley. Hi, S-T-E-L-L-A. I'm a little nervous when mom meets Mrs. Thompson. I think I'm doing better in speech, but I can never tell. I sit outside of her office while they talk before my class. After a few minutes, both mom and Miss Thompson come back outside. Mom is smiling. Miss Thompson says, that's an interesting outfit, Stella. She seems a little bit confused as she looks at my blue turtleneck, blue pants, and red beanie. I'm Jacques Gusteau. She laughs. Oh, of course. Then she continues. Stella, I'm sad to say that I think this is goodbye for us. I recommend it to your mom that you stop taking speech classes. I squeal. I'm so happy, but I want you to read out loud at night for practice. I promise. Take care, Stella, she says. I wave goodbye. As we walk to the class, mom whispers, can you believe she still asked me if your father is moving back? I'm definitely glad not to be answering that question anymore. When we get to the classroom, we set up my submarine. Mom can't stay the whole day because she has to work, which means I have to go first with my presentation. You'll feel better getting it done sooner, too, Mom whispers. To shake off the nerves, we do some jumping jacks. I notice Jessica staring at us. She's wearing an equestrian outfit for her presentation. Good luck with your presentation, Jessica, says Mom. Jessica crosses her arm and turns around. I look up at Mom who pats my head. She's the best. I walk to the front of the class. I feel myself turning roja when I first open my mouth. My turtleneck feels apretado around my neck like a boa constrictor. Hello. My voice is shaky. My name is Louder, someone says. I catch eyes with Jessica, who looks very smug. I can only imagine what she's thinking. I start doubting myself, but then I look over to the crowd. On my left, I see Stanley. It says here, with his ape costume, he gives me the thumbs up. My name's Jacques Gusto. I say without my voice shaking. I look to the crowd again. This time, I notice Miss Bell, who is in the middle, smiling. Let's see. I take a deep breath. I stick out my chest. Welcome to the wonderful world of fishes. When I look out to my right, I see that mom's taking pictures. Surrounded by my support team, my inner starfish starts taking over. Have you ever want wanted to know what lives in the sea? I see Ben, Lauren, and a bunch of kids nod their heads. Well, today I'm going to tell you. As usual, Nick was right about the first minute. It does get much easier. I point out all the 19 fishes on my submarine. 
I made more fishes than I had to for the project. With fishes with names like Blobfish and Wahoo, I just couldn't help it. I get excited the more and more I talk, and when I'm done, people actually applaud. I immediately run to the back and hug mom. Fantastico, Stella, she whispers. She stays to watch Stanley's presentation, which is pretty great, too. Stanley uses monkeys for the barrel of monkey games to make a mobile and present and print it out facts about monkeys and banana shapes. Plus, he is really funny in his ape costume. He even makes monkey noises. I clap loudly for him when he finishes. He certainly didn't need the cookies. Lauren's presentation is also good. She brought in her uncle's parrot like she said she would, but it turns out the parrot doesn't talk. It just whistles. He, she still has to talk the whole time. So I make sure to smile and give her the thumbs up while she presents. Jessica's presentation is the most boring. She reads her, her presentation from her notebook and just flips through a slideshow of different horses. Like usual, Jessica doesn't seem nervous at all, but I realize maybe that's not always good. Maybe sometimes it's good to be nervous about things you'll work harder, so you'll work harder for them. At the end of the school day, Miss Bell hands us our grades on her project. She gives me three gold stars and an A+++. Plus plus. She also wrote Wahoo like the fish I She also wrote Wahoo like the fish I mentioned during my presentation on the top next to the smiley face. I grabbed my cheeks because my face hurts from smiling so much. I just can't stop. Not only did I speak out loud in front of the whole class, I did it well. Today, I really lived up to my name. I was really an estrella. Here you can see her uh, awesome little costumes like Jacques Cousteau. Her little uh, red beanie with her blue turtleneck, her blue pants, and then her submarine. Look how cool. So now she finished her speech classes. She's gotten so much better at ignoring Jessica and, and like really like feeling like she's welcome there, right, with all her friends. So Stella's having such a great time, right? So we'll see how she finishes the book because tomorrow we're going to be finishing the book. And it's a really short chapter. It's only like two pages. But we see that she's grown so much and, to, and we'll talk about it in the next um, tomorrow. But we'll see how much she's actually changed. Okay.